really cool. Well, hello, retro game players. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Marcus. This is Pickup Video 40 freaking one. I cannot believe that there's that many pickup videos. I was like, whoa, damn, that's that's kind of crept up on me. I don't do pickup videos that often, but when I do, I try and make them good. Um, this is a kind of, let's see, this is a couple different things. This is a Goodwill. Uh, it's a trip to a local like antique store who has video games and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, I guess that's about it, actually. Oh, and this, right here, the most important thing. This is from Dan with Rebel Gaming Club. Go check out their channel right now. Awesome channel, highly recommend it. I had sent in my record over there, uh, I don't know how long ago, with some hats. And anyway, uh, Dan sent me back this, so let's open it up. I've got my Batman knife, and, uh... I know he's done music. I went ahead and looked it up. They're called the, uh, oh God, Rebel City, no, River City Rebels, I think. We've got Rebel Gaming Club sticker, which is awesome. That's uh, that's vinyl, that's for real. That is for real. I'm gonna get that tattooed on my arm. And then this is a, uh, oh, River City Rebels. That's what I said. So it's a patch. You can sew that on your jean denim jacket or whatever. Oh, there's, there's something else here. River, River City Rebels Keepsake of Luck. So that's pretty fresh. Looks like a full CD. 16 tracks. Right on. Let me check that out. Uh, got a record. Whoa, whoa, there's more stickers. Dan, you're too kind. Go check out their channel. Seriously, here's more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, look at this. Got a bunch of them. These are pretty cool. And then I've got a full-on record, which, this is badass. That's him. Look at that. His face is on the record. That is really cool. Thank you for purchasing this copy of River City Rebels in Love, Loveless. Mod House. Um, I don't know who that guy is. I'm sorry. Dan, I, I did check out your band on YouTube, on the old YouTubes, and um, I really liked them. So, pretty cool. And uh, let's see, there's something else in here. Another record. Dan, no, Done With Love, River City Rebels. So I'm not sure if these m must just be his records from the band. Um, I don't know. I, I know he said something about a single, or maybe he said something that he did a solo thing. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to rock these. And um, in fact, we may be listening to it right now. So those are awesome. Um, go check out his channel. Uh, I may be making some kind of an appearance over there. You don't know. You may you may see me there. I can't I can't say one way or the other. So I I would definitely recommend doing that. Okay, moving on. Got to clean up here. Um, I found this really weird. This, this is kind of embarrassing. This is an embarrassing start. Uh, Hello Kitty Cruisers on the Wii U. Um, who knew this is a rare game? Uh, I have no idea um, why, um, but whatever. I I bought it for like ten bucks. I think that's a good deal considering it's a little beat up in here, but it's got the manual, disc is good. So um, yeah, look this up, it's surprisingly expensive. Uh, moving on to um, a thrift store. Went ahead and got this sick Turtles case. Now the guy who runs this store, um, he's right downtown Astoria uh, where I live and he's got a store called Lee's Attic, I think. And uh, anyway, the guy is awesome, hooks me up with lots of video game stuff. And um, so this was in there, and yeah, it's in great shape. It's got the spot for your um, turtles. Now, I'll be honest, I normally don't like these things. Um, in fact, for some reason, like the one that was for Star Wars toys back in the day with the Darth Vader head, that, that bothered me for some reason. And I think it has to do with like, this really serves no purpose other than putting the toys in. And the Darth Vader one really bothered me because it was an actual like statue of Darth Vader and you would never really play with him. You would like just sit him up there, but then your toys are hidden in here. So they're not like displayed. I, I don't know. Anyway, it says collector's case, holds 12 figures. 
the artwork's awesome. It's totally from the cartoon. So, um, yeah, really cool. So I got this, and I'll try and remember everything here because it kind of got a little confusing. But basically, everything I'm going to show you I got for uh, $160, something like that. So um, Odyssey 2 games in the box. They're really dusty. This is uh, Showdown in 2100 AD. Um, it's got the little flip with the manual in there. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a long time, you'll know that I actually have quite a few of these in box. Uh, but most of these I don't have. Monkey Shines. Oh, just dropped the manual. So Monkey Shines. Oh, this, this is not the right manual. This is Pickaxe Pete manual, uh, which is coming up. Anyway, Monkey Shines is right here. And I was wondering if that had to do anything with the uh, Stephen King movie or book. Uh, Pickaxe Pete, which is kind of hard to say fast. This one looks really interesting, too. Um, I never played the Odyssey 2. I've never played it, ever, in my life. Um, so I just missed that entire, entire boat. Um, this thing has some weird funk on the front, but it's uh, Alien Vaders Plus. So, oh my god. It's, yeah, these things just want to, like, explode their manuals. Uh, Invaders from Hyperspace. So, yep. There's that. Um, UFO. Oh, and I gotta say too, there's this 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 vintage smell that comes from this stuff. Like, like if you just give it a little smell, it's like this vintage 1970s, 80s smell that you can only get from stuff like this. It's really weird. This is empty. This is a Speedway spinout. It's got the manual in the case. No game. Uh, and then KC Munchkin, which I'm 90% sure I have this game. So, if anybody's interested, I now have two of those. So, got all those. And then, uh, right here in front of me, something very huge, is a Inbox Odyssey 2. Odyssey. Video game fun. Computer keyboard challenge. The entrance to an alternate world of fire-breathing dragons. Hard-hitting sluggers, arcade wizards, outer space wizards. More than 40 games in all. Odyssey, the excitement of a game, the mind of a computer. All for the price of an ordinary video game. Odyssey. And uh, this thing is extremely cool. The box isn't in perfect shape, but what's interesting is this, this sticker here, and it says, to Magnavox Service Center. Um, it's in Torrance, Tor Terrence, I don't know, can't read the cursive, California. So it must have been sent um, to be repaired, which is pretty cool. So I don't know, hopefully it's fixed. He didn't know, he didn't know if it was fixed or not. Um, but yeah, it's in the box. So when you pop this open, I'm sure I'm knocking anything over here. You've got the old school uh, joysticks which are pretty cool. They're kind of like an eight way. And then this thing, and this is just, just that smell that, it's not a bad smell. It smells like old electronics and old packing. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a vintage smell that you only pick up on. This thing is crazy looking. Um, Odyssey 2, up top it says microprocessor. I think that's really cool. It's got this huge power button right here. And then an entire like keypad. So anyway, so that's really awesome. I'm excited to uh, turn that thing on. There's some other books in here and stuff. Um, really, really excited to just like play this thing, see what see what it's all about. Um, I don't think it did very well um, when competing against Atari. So that might be, you know, I don't know. The game, honestly, the graphics don't look that bad, but they remind me of the 2600 just from the sides. So. That's, that's sort of what it reminds me of. Um, I'm gonna grab some more items right here. All right, another thing in this lot is this really cool reflective, and that's gonna be tough to see, but it's a Virtual Fighter marquee, and it's got the mirrored back glass. It's in perfect condition. So, I mean, he knows that I'm all about arcade machines and pinball and all that stuff too, so he saw this, or he had this, and he just was like, yep, you know, you interested? And I saw it, I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, dude. This is so cool. Um, he also has a cocktail machine that he's selling for like 300 bucks. 
and it's called like something gorilla space or I can't remember what it is but it's basically a space invaders clone and it is working um, but I already have a space invaders cocktail table so I don't really um, want to get another cocktail table anyway this thing is so awesome love the mirrored look to it uh, okay so then I have a whole other box of stuff here okay another vintage item is this right here this is a old Halloween lamp I'm really into this kind of stuff um, it's it just is powered by one bulb here but I love old-school Halloween decorations and this thing is extremely vintage I don't see any date on it oh wait there is something that says Empire something Ah, 1969 Empire Plastic Corporation. But anyway, pretty awesome. Totally dig Halloween stuff. Real quick before I get into the games, this is another <laughs> this is another find. This is the Caddyshack. Um, I don't know. He he is moving by himself. He does this weird little shuffle thing. Um, I got him mostly for uh, our cat Dimitri. And yeah, he it's basically the Caddyshack gopher. So yeah, he kind of does this weird little shuffle. And uh, kind of humorous, I'd say. So anyway, I don't know. He was a novelty. I got this at Goodwill. Had nothing to do with this other purchase. Into the games. First off, got an empty NES case. I just thought this was cool. But it's basically, um, it's got a little book. And it's got the cleaner for fix a system. Docs maintenance manual. How to clean your Genesis and Sega Master System, Atari 2600, 7800, and Commodore 64 128. So it's some kind of a cleaning kit, but it came in this like rental case, um, which is pink translucent. I think that's really cool. Honestly, that was kind of just thrown in, so that's cool. Okay, so the next few items are all for the Atari 5200. Um, we've got Pac-Man. We've got uh, Football. We got, and by the way, these are beefy cartridges, and I've never, um, I mean, I've played the 5200, like, at the Retro Gaming Expo, but, uh, yeah, I don't know anybody who's got one. I'm sure a lot of you do, but I've never had one before, so this is the first time I've ever bought any games for this system. This is Kangaroo. Uh, River Raid, which I have played that on Atari 2600, and it's awesome, so I'm hoping that's, um, an upgraded, cool version. Pole Position. Played the crap out of that on Atari 2600. It's one of my favorite games. Um, Galaxian, so that's awesome. I actually have the cocktail table of this, the arcade cocktail table. Um, if you haven't seen that video of my arcade room before I moved, check that out. I'll put a link to it. Uh, Super Breakout, that's a classic, awesome 2600 system game. Um, do I have more? Yes, Centipede. Um, ironically, the guy who sold me all this had a centipede in his shop, an upright, um, and it wasn't working and he wanted 150 bucks for it. And looking back, I wish I would have bought it because, uh, you can fix that, um, for who knows, even if you dump like three or four or $500 in it, I think it's worth, worth it at 150. So I kind of wish I would have tried to get it. Um, I just don't have any room. I don't have any more room for games right now. So. Uh, that's why that's why I'm just holding off on any large purchases. Um, this is uh, slalom for the uh, NES, and it's got some crazy rental tape on here. Um, I'm gonna have to use a heat gun to get that off. It's like they put this tape on here to keep you from stealing the game, and it's a rental store. Um, it actually says Movie House Castle Rock Video. Return to store where rented. Let's see if it's got any address. No, it's got another warning security. It's got labels all over it. All over it. Anyway, did not have that NES game, so I bought that. RBI Baseball by Tengen. Didn't have that. Actually, the sequel, RBI 2. Uh, and then I think these are all Genesis games. So these are all Genesis games I didn't have. Uh, Wacky Worlds Creativity Studio. That's a Sonic game. Seems like I saw that on Fluffy Gamer's channel recently. I don't know. I might be wrong. If you're watching, sorry, dude. I don't know. Um, Bubsy. Bubsy is a game. So actually, uh, this game is good in my opinion, but I always played the Super Nintendo one. Um, that one That one was the one I think was a little better. Um, but 
I will say this, when this game came out, it was featured in a lot of magazines, and I remember the graphics, I thought they looked awesome. Like, I remember thinking, uh, I definitely got to play that. It just gets a little annoying. There's a lot of weird digitized speech and stuff, but I didn't have it, so went ahead and picked that one up. And then the rest of these are uh, kind of in boxes. So this is Goofy's Historical History Tour. No, Hysterical History Tour. And it's uh, complete. Oh yeah, it's actually very minty, you might say. Um, so, kind of interesting. I don't know that one. I'm unfamiliar with the uh, Goofy game. Here's Toy Story in some kind of a weird rental case. It says Blockbuster Video. Can you imagine, you guys? Uh, Blockbuster renting... And look, the, the manual's like just all messed up. Blockbuster stickers all over it. Uh, inside, it's got a barcode with some kind of warning. Oh, epilepsy warning. So, yeah, this was one of those rental cases, though, that you'd get from Blockbuster. I mean, that's this, just this alone brings back memories of renting these things. Uh, then I've got Taz and Escape from Mars. I've never played this one, but I've beat the other one. Um, I, I, it was one that I remember, actually, um, my dad rented it for me. This is from Video Warehouse. It's got a barcode on there. Um, my dad rented the first one for me when I was a kid. And we were snowed in in a cabin in Northern California, somewhere near uh, Nevada City, if anyone knows where that is. And we were snowed in, and I played the first game, actually, it was crazy, like, showed up um, at my dad's house there, he had this awesome cabin, and uh, we rented Moonwalker for Genesis, and we rented Taz. And so then the next day, we woke up to like, I think it was literally like a foot or I don't know, I don't want to say two feet of snow, but a crap load of snow to where the car was not going anywhere. Um, fortunately, we had enough food. But yeah, it was basically like I had those games and we couldn't return them, so I played them for like a whole week. And um, so yeah, I beat them multiple times. And I actually really ended up liking Tasmania. So if that's anything like this, I'm, I'm excited to play that. Um, this is Dick v Vital's Awesome Baby College Hoops. So... You know, whatever. It's complete. I think it's complete. Let's see. Yes, complete. So, kind of cool. Um, running out of room. This is really interesting. This is just Winter Olympics. U.S. Gold. Oh, it says Mega Drive. So, this is an import. Wait a minute. It says, for play on Sega Genesis and Sega Mega Drive on the front. There's a big sticker. But it clearly says Mega Drive up here. Let's see what it is. That is... It says Mega Drive, so crazy. I have no idea. And yeah, it looks like a Genesis cart, but it says Sega Mega Drive. I think the Mega Drive has a rounded, it, it's it's uh, a little bit different because you, you have to have an adapter to be able to play Mega Drive games on your US Genesis. So this looks like a US version. I don't know, that's kind of weird. I'm not really sure. And the manual is like horizontal. Instead of vertical? Look at that. You know, I don't have very many uh, Mega Drive games. The only one I think I have is like Double Dragon. Maybe it's Double Dragon 2 on Mega Drive? Anyway, all right, so I got one more item here. I don't think I've missed anything. One more item, and that is a freaking extremely heavy Atari 5200. Now where you been, you'll make the days roll on by Blasting bugs out of the sky Well you know deep down that it's gonna be a hummer Cause nobody's hotter than Atari this summer Nobody's hotter than Atari this summer This summer, the really hot video games come from Atari We've got Centipede, Ms. Pac-Man, Vanguard, and Galaxian if you thought it was going to be just another summer, Atari is going to turn your head around. The hot names, the hot games, the hot deals. Yeah, it's gonna be a hummer, cause nobody's hotter than Atari this summer. Nobody's hotter than Atari this summer. No! Never had one of these, ever. Um, it's so freaking heavy. Why is this so big? Anyway, it's got um, no controllers, which isn't a huge deal. I know I have some controllers for this. Um, 
and it doesn't have the original AC adapter, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, anyway, this thing's uh, gonna be dusted off. I'm gonna clean it up, see if I can't get the games. What the hell? So I don't even know this thing just opened up on me right here. Look at this. It's like a secret compartment to hide all your paraphernalia, I guess. Maybe your games can fit in there, your controllers, I guess. This is big. That is huge. Anyway, here's a shot of everything I got. Um, yeah, 160 bucks for all that. And yeah, uh, with the exception of the gopher. He came from Goodwill. So I don't think I missed anything else. Um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Oh, and also uh, the Wii game. That was 10 bucks. So um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, going to have lots more videos upcoming. So until next time, you know what to do. You keep that shit retro. Uh, by checking out the Atari 5200 later on.